What's up you guys? So I figured I'd make a video talking about what I'm actually eating currently. Um, so I made an April Fool's joke on freaking April Fool's Day. Uh, talking about being vegan or some nonsense like that. And I was going on about eating like a gorilla and blah blah blah. All that nonsense. Well, obviously that was an April Fool's joke. I'm not actually vegan. Uh, my freezer is currently full of meat but this meat will only last me about, I don't know, two weeks. I'm obviously not vegan. I actually lost six subscribers on April Fool's Day because I made a video joking about me becoming a vegan because I was enlightened by uh, Milton Mills saying we need to eat like a gorilla to get big. So I lost six subscribers. So six people apparently could not tell that I was joking and that that video was satire. So either I'm a really good actor or those people's IQ levels are too low in order to follow my channel's content or it's a combination of both probably. But yeah, I'm definitely not vegan. So right now I eat at least two pounds of red meat a day coming from beef and then I also eat uh, quite a bit of calf liver. That's what that is right there. I've been experimenting with muscle meat recently, and uh, I do consume quite a bit of raw, unfiltered honey, um, and I always try to get my honey local. Here in Texas, we have the awesome fact that uh, two things that you can always get here in Texas locally is local Texas beef from HEB, HEB, um, the, I think, all of the beef that they sell, that's conventional at least, is um, Texas beef from local farms. And I have some friends that actually uh, give a lot of their beef to Texas, or to HEB. Um, and then local, raw, unfiltered honey. My favorite local honey is uh, Kelly's. Kelly's local honey. And you can tell that that honey is real, that it's real honey. Number one, by how how thick it is, like how, how hard it is to uh, pour the honey out of the jar. But the main giveaway is um, whether, like how, how hard it is to dissolve in water, basically. So I put my, I put my honey in, in coffee a lot of times after I mix it with heavy cream. And if it stays at the bottom of the cup until I mix the crap out of it, that probably means that the honey is real. But uh, also if you get it from local farms, then it's probably real as well, um, generally speaking, if you know the farm where you get it from. So I also have been using extensively um, Hyperion Herbs, Dawnwood Rishi and Cordyceps extracts. So the Cordyceps is a four to one extract, it's a dual extract, and the, ten, and the Rishi is a 10 to one dual extract. And no, I am not sponsored by Hyperion Herbs. I doubt that they'll ever sponsor anybody. The reason why I always talk about their herbs is because they are probably the best brand on the market to get your herbs from. Uh, these are the most potent, uh, proper extracts of these tonic herbs that you can get. So yeah, I've been taking Cordyceps and Rishi with my coffee in the morning. I mix my coffee with ghee, uh, coconut oil, and protein powder currently. I'm also experimenting a little bit with uh, Panax ginseng extract and, and tribulus in the morning, but, um, oh, and lion's mane. I take about a fourth of a teaspoon of a four to one lion's mane extract. But uh, honestly, the most benefit that I've seen so far are, is from the cordyceps and reishi. And Hyperion Herbs does have a lion's mane, but I'm still undecided on, on the effects of lion's mane. So anyway, um, I do also eat a little bit of fruit here and there. Sometimes I'll boil, I'll boil my meat uh, and then I'll pour the meat and broth over frozen fruit. As you can see, I don't have any frozen fruit in my freezer right now. Um, but I like to do that for my potassium, the fruit and then the, the, the broth from the meat gives me all the potassium and magnesium I need and maybe a little bit of vitamin C even though it's heat sensitive. 
and I get my carbs from honey um, surrounding my training sessions. And I only eat carbohydrates uh, based on my activity level for the day to help out the Cori cycle and um, gluconeogenesis, whatever. Uh, carbohydrates are not being converted from my adipose tissue and the fat that I eat uh, will be supplied through the honey. So I'm not like eating a substantial amount, but I am training uh, two to three times a day almost every single day each week. And I have like one or two rest days. So I am extremely active right now training for a jiu-jitsu competition. So people who like will crucify me because I'm eating honey and fruit, I don't really care. Like I think that that's foolish. So this is what I'm eating. I'm not vegan. Thank you guys.